Well, here is a, another way of doing scabbard fish. And we are, of course, at uh, where we're staying. So this is a DIY way of doing it. And um, so here, this was, so, sorry, go ahead then. Here is a piece of scabbard fish that has been cleaned. This is probably near the tail end because there's no belly. So let me show you. This one is a belly one. So it's gonna be closer to the head, see? This was where the belly was, and it's been cleaned. So if you see, there's like a, a black line, and this was all black before, both sides of the fish. Like um, when, when you pursed it, it was all black, and, and the lady in the store chopped off the head. She and... asked me if I wanted to keep the head. I said no, because I don't know how to cook that. Um, and she, she um, kind of used a scraping action to like scrape off the black, put it under water, cleaned out the belly and the guts, and so what I did, rather tediously, I tried to cut it away from the bone. And now I'm going to see if I can cook it up. But it took a lot of time, especially with the wrong tools. And then this this is, has flour, and just an example without flour. And I'm hoping to make a stew with clams and scabbard fish. And the reason why I wanted to get it is because I've never seen scabbard fish anywhere else, in any place we've traveled to. It's a very ugly looking fish, and we found out that it's at very deep depths. What's the depths, honey? I think around about 2,000 meters and, and, and further. Yeah, so... That's, that's an awful long way. So here's the fish. You know you can use my light to get better light. And then here's without flour, and then here is like a raw piece of um, cleaned fish, and then here are the bones that I'm hoping to use in the stew. Yeah. And this is a Portuguese uh, spice mix I use, and that's the word for fish. And then, do you have the uh, the price label of where we uh, actually got it from? Can I oh. see it? Oh, that was somewhere else. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. So we got this from Continente, 1.9 kilos at 11.68. And today we saw one dish of scabbard fish for 14 euros. So it would be like piece like this. Now we also, to be fair, we also saw in another restaurant where it was eight and a half euros and the delicacy here in Madeira is that they um, they cook it uh, and when it's presented to you it has like half a banana. And passion fruit. And passion fruit. And passion fruit. order that and show you guys. Um, yeah, so, so we're, we're going to be doing that. Um, and I, we, we've already had some, and personally, I, I do find it very nice. Me too. Um, yes, and uh, it's interesting reading about this stuff, actually. There's, um, there's two types of scabbard fish, apparently, black and silver. Um, and they, um, oh, actually, and they have different names uh, in, in um, different parts of the world, I suppose. So uh, it, it's possible that uh, you may know it under a different name. But am I correct, honey, in saying that you never... Had you heard of it before? Never. Never heard of it never before. Never heard of it, never seen let it. Let alone, you know, let and alone I actually. I like food, so this is very neat. Yeah, this is, this is the trips, of course. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, and if you ever see pictures of them, I mean, they're ugly, ugly, ugly. I mean, they've got these big eyes because they, 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 they live so far down. They have big light eyes that, you know, helps them see the best they can, can I suppose. And... And they've got, when they open their mouths, they've got these big, horrible teeth. Kind of look a bit like an eel, actually. They can they can grow up to about um, six foot, two meters long. They, and they're in the family of beltfish, aren't they? In the family of beltfish. God bless Wikipedia. Anyway, so this is, um, well, we're going to follow up. You know, don't worry. You know, we're not going to leave the video here. You know, you're going to see the final product.